Hey guys, William Davis Daily, coming at you with your daily dose of D. Today's video is going to be about fear. Very timely, of course, considering it's the spooky season and Halloween is tomorrow. But also, I want to talk about it mainly due to the fact that what I'm trying to do here with my freelance aspirations, doing these videos, trying to start a podcast, and then of course the people that I'm trying to speak with as well, small business owners and entrepreneurs, there's a lot of fear involved in taking risk. Fear itself, I think, can be rooted in that uncertainty. And what I really wanna to speak to is how you can sort of master your fear, harness it, and use it as a very powerful motivator. A good example is the previous owner of Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. He used to tell me all the time that what kind of drove him was the fear of failure and then that backed by a blind belief in himself. To really give some context to that though, because I think it's more so, it wasn't really fear of failure, it was more of fear of not being in control of his own destiny. He had just been laid off from a big business. He had gone through a very messy divorce and he also had you know, a one-year-old to look after. And then to top it off, he took a substantial loan from the bank in order to buy the business. So when he says fear of failure, there's a lot riding on him being successful, of course. So he used that to motivate himself to get stuff done. And of course that other part, that blind belief in yourself, your skills and your talents and your knowledge, but it also kind of speaks to the hard work that is, is needed, right? In order to really make things happen, you know, in order to fight that fear, it's going to take some work. You're going to have to face some challenges head on. To put it back to more of a personal touch, this is a, a scary time of year for me, basically because seven years ago today, I lost my mom to cancer. And with that came obvious emotions, sadness, and anger, but it also came with fear. When my mom passed, she was always a rock for me. Whether I was struggling with my personal life, business life, not really feeling well, just being sick. She was always somebody I would call, you know, look for advice just to kind of get stuff off my chest. And of course, just to talk and just to feel better. So when I lost her, that rock crumbled and there was a lot of fear because of that. Now, when I'm trying to do this with my freelance and when I'm in tough, you know, struggling with motivation or procrastinating, I just kind of fall back to remember my mom it motivates me because I want to make her proud still. I want to be successful in her footsteps. So that's how I'm using fear. Um, and that's how it's kind of motivated me to be where I am right now. And of course, to be where I want to be in the future. With you, you know, it might be something completely different, but the idea is to remember that when you face fear, if you accept it, find the true sort of location of where it's coming from, you can use that to motivate yourself. If you have any sort of comments about that, I would really love to hear them. So just slide in my DMs or, or leave me a comment. Beyond that, guys, just remember to subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Facebook. You can find those links in my bio and I'll also put them in the description of this video. Thanks for listening. That's been your Daily Dose of D and we'll see you guys tomorrow.